いろいろな作品の話をしていただいたんですけれども今日は特別にですねこの会場でも作品を一つ体験していただけることになりましたということでインタビューを伺う前にまずは、えー、マラニーさんの作品「バラード・オブ・ア・ウォーマン」こちらをスクリーンでご覧ください。Thank you for sharing your film with us. I heard you decided or cho chose to show this film with us、um, because of something that happened yesterday? Yes, I met a number of、uh, friends and uh, acquaintances, uh, and they had、uh, the feeling that they have not actually ever seen an artwork of mine.、Uh, they've been following things on YouTube and、uh, things like that. but To actually see an artwork,、mm -hmm. I thought I had brought this along, and I thought this would be a good opportunity to show one of the、uh, newer things I'd done、uh, this year. This must have been fantastic to see this on the wall of the on museum. On the entire in, facade. On the facade yeah, of the uh, yes, Montreal uh, Museum. Yes, that's right. I showed a slide of that,、mm -hmm. I think, in the game.、Uh, What did you want to convey to the viewers through this film? Well, I'm often inspired by、uh, writers and poets. And、uh, at the moment, I'm, I'm especially fascinated with the work of Vishlava Zimborska. And she had written this poem, which is called A Ballad of a Woman.、Um, she's able to combine.、Uh, A strange kind of humor with tragedy and trauma.、Mm -hmm. The ba Ballad of a Woman is about a woman who's been murdered, but she stands up and she starts to clean the floor of the blood. And she wants to hide away every aspect of the murderer's weapon or any trace of his being there.、Mm -hmm. And it's almost like the burden that women carry and have been carrying since, through eons of time、mm -hmm. that they have to clean up. Even if you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> I think a lot of people are thinking, I, I know what that is like. It is a lot of times still like that in Japan as well, I think.、Um, since you travel all around the world and show your artwork, I'm sure you keep an eye out for art in the, the countries and cultures you are in. I couldn't、uh, miss that you were、um, looking. Uh, viewing the no performance yesterday very passionately. Did you like the no performance? I loved it. I loved it.、Um, this was a short performance, but I've seen, I've been through a whole week of no in Fukuoka.、Mm -hmm. And、uh, yesterday we had a glimpse of the beauty of the no movement.、Mm -hmm. the, slow, the slowness of it is what I really appreciate because you, it, it seems、uh, deceptively simple, but it needs a lot of concentration、mm -hmm. to be able to make a simple gesture but slow. And it, 
every aspect of no uh, takes on a whole spiritual meaning, which uh, I, I feel very inspired by. Mm. Do you feel um, sympathy with Japanese aesthetics, not just no? Yes, absolutely, I do. I, I've been very, in, in, very interested, you know, from mm. uh, woodcut uh, prints to, I mean, I'm looking, I've been copying them from a young age when mm -hmm. I was in the art school, mm -hmm. because I wanted to look at the, uh, what uh, the age, other Asian cultures were giving us in the traditions. Uh -huh. uh, the school I went to was uh, British oriented, you know, uh, not the best. So I really wanted to look at the alternative things mm -hmm. around me in Asia itself. So your first visit to Japan was when you were 12. Yes. You must have um, met a lot of in exciting things it because meant, when you're 12. It you meant know. a lot to me. Mm -hmm. and I, I, it, it's, it's, it, even though I, I, it was so many years ago, it's etched in my mind. Mm -hmm. Because for one thing, uh, uh, it was the first visit to Tokyo, and uh, there was nothing in English. So the, my mother gave me a sketch pad and a pen, and she said, we have to eat. And they, not, they don't speak English. <laughs> so you better start drawing the food. <laughs> so the first thing I did was start to draw food in restaurants. Mm. Uh, going back to your lecture, I was shocked about the um, anecdote about damaged survivors in 1970, where your... Um, documentary, the, the, the city that you were um, doing the documentary on was just bulldozed overnight, which means your art, your, all your energy was gone overnight. How, how, do, you, how do you get over that kind of crushing and then go on to, you know, gathering up your strength and yeah. proceed to, to create again? It was a long period of mourning. And the only way I could come out of it was by recalling uh, uh, what I had learned from the people in the slum. Uh, I tried to look for them, but I, they, I couldn't find a trace. Mm. And that made me all the more upset, because where had they gone? Uh, so the, the relationship had built, and, and the memory of that relationship mm. uh, helped me to move forward. And I said, I still need to do a homage to these people who, uh, from whom I have learned so much. Mm -hmm. And that's when memory came into play. Memory is a very, very important part of what I use as a device in my work. Mm -hmm. And I would like to impart that to the audience to the best of my ability, to be able to remember, like how you remember a no performance. Mm -hmm. you, come, you can't take it away, but you can take the memory of it. What is your strongest driving force, your motivation to, to keep creating and to convey some kind of message to the world? Well, that's a big question. Uh, but. Uh, well, it's an attempt, let's say. It's just also an attempt to try to find ways and means and to key in ideas and key out ideas with different devices because the subject is too large. And one artwork doesn't contain it. So I keep on mm -hmm. going at it, you mm -hmm. know. So, um, I mean, we've had uh, sectarian violence in India from time to time. It stays in your mind and you, have, and you, want, to, you want to have a hysterical fit but you have to find a form, you mm -hmm. know? So drawing, painting, then finally making larger works, something that encompasses everybody. Let's do it together, let's see together, let's remember that moment. Mm -hmm. That's how, uh, you know, I try to work. And I'm sure seeing people just come out to view your artwork is very re rewarding. For example, my reality is different. You, ha you had the most viewers come into the National Gal Gallery Yes, that was mm. quite, a, quite a wonderful thing to meet with the audience in that space. Why do you think the audience wants to come back and see your art? You know, for, for one thing, when I started the project, I just sat in the National Gallery and watched everyone, how they were looking at these paintings, but they were not looking. They were looking at their cell phones. So, and as an artist, and as artists do, 
they look at detail. For example, there's a painting of the Madonna and there's the beautiful blue robe, but the artist has painted it in such a manner that it's like mountain peaks, you know? So when you just shoot that part of it, you haven't seen the whole, it's just that detail, and then you get a whole other feeling. And then you go back to the larger picture and then you see it is in the context of this. It's almost like the emotion of the Madonna mm -hmm. when the Christ is brought, uh, the Christ figure is brought down through the crucifix, from the from the cross. And I, I would, I want, in some sense, to share that with the audience. Mm -hmm. And that uh, that was one way of approaching. Mm -hmm. But the other, on the other hand, the fact that I know that this collection of the National Gallery was was actually donated or uh, gifted or, or whatever uh, to the National Gallery by people who had earned their money through slave trade. Mm. So it was from the sugar plantations and uh, the like that uh, uh, this is how the massive amount of money was uh, put into buying these artworks and then donating them. So that part of it is when you see the subaltern appearing from time to time with the share market candles mm -hmm. through them. Mm -hmm. It's interesting how the audience dialogues with the artwork as well as, as you said, within themselves. So any kind of reaction to the art, whether it is, oh, it's so beautiful, or maybe some people get angry with it, or maybe cry, saddened, or just feel very, um, what do you say, troubled by the problem that, that it conveys to you. Any kind of reaction is okay as long as you're Absolutely. dialing yeah. logging uh, with Everybody the comes to the artwork with the, even I, when I see somebody else's work, I come with my own bundle of memories and fantasies, and I take away what fits there. So I think that we all are in a creative process when one looks at art. Mm. I hope you have a lot of memorial uh, encounters in Japan after, after this weekend. I, I, I know you're touring around or I'm sorry? Sight, sightseeing around uh, a little bit? There are two particular museums I want to visit. Oh, it's the Netsuke Museum. I, I, I love Netsuke's uh -huh. and the Manga Museum. Uh -huh. So. Manga Museum, yes. oh, that's great. I, I have tried to draw manga myself, so oh, I really okay. like, uh, yeah. Well, please enjoy your stay. Thank and you And thank very you much. very much for thank your you. wonderful speech and interview. Thank you very much.